In this video, I'll show you how to add a piece of HTML component within your model-driven app. Now, this is a simple model-driven app named as World Airlines Management System. So this surfaces out four or five tables in a model-driven app. Now, if I go into any of the records, so let me go into one of the record over here. Now I can see that it allows the user to fill up the information in the form, in the form of a grid or a list of controls. Now, as you see over here in my previous example, I showed you how to add images in a model-driven app using the web resource. Now, in this example, I'll show you if you want to add some text or some sort of a label within your model driven app, then you can do that using this approach. Now, my goal is to basically add uh, a section on top of here. And then here I will put some HTML content. So let's go ahead and do that. So for that, I may need to go into the solution. So first go navigate to the core solution, which you may have for the application. So let me go into the airlines core solution. And then here I'll go into the application and within the application i will just edit the application and then i will update the form so or alternatively you can go into the corresponding table so i have this airlines table and then within that you can click on forms and then you can edit the relevant form now i've already opened the form over here so this is my airline form open over here so for that what i'm going to do now here i want to add a section so for that let me go into the now uh, let me navigate over here show you the components and under popular you will see one column section or two column section now you have an option you can pick either one or two column section so let me pick one column section over here and add it on top of the alliance section now here i will just name the label as html text demo Now, this is the section which we have added. Now, we are going to add some HTML component over here. Now, in order to write an HTML component, you may need to go into an editor and then start drafting the HTML content. I will make use of a free online HTML editor tool. So here I'm going to write some content. So I'll just write, say, World Airlines Management solution is one of the top industry solutions used by people across the globe so this is just like a simple html text i'll try to make this a uh, more uh, like put some more html characteristics or properties so let me go in world and make this as heading one uh, so, so uh, let me pick up world airlines management solution and then i will make this let me see if it allows me to make this to paragraph so let me make this as bold let me make a solution as italic let me underline the solution and here let me make the it's all uppercase and i'm putting all like random html contents Maybe. and then i will make this as this color and maybe i'll just put it to the top and i've just made some some changes you know let me go. and this is the html so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pick this html and then paste it in some area within model driven app now in the html editor you have online html editor feature over here so you can copy this html content So let's go into HTML text demo over here. So this is the section we have added. So from here, I'm gonna go into the display and under display, you have something called as HTML web resource. So let me drag this HTML web resource. 
Now here it is asking me to add an HTML web resource, but we do not have an HTML web resource created so far. So let's go ahead and create one. So go into the solution. So I'm going into the airline core solution. So let me go back, go to the cancel this off and under web resources, I will create an HTML solution, uh, core web resource. So go to more, go to web resource and here I will copy and paste the content. Okay. Now for this, here we have an online HTML editor. Now here I can see the output. So I can see, uh, I have made some changes over here. I can edit the HTML source code. I can switch to what you see, what you get editor. Now here I can copy this HTML piece of code. Now, I will just paste the code over here and I will call this as so file type HTML and the name as airline HTML code. Click on save. So it is of type HTML. So airline HTML code is of type the web resource HTML. And I will start searching in my web resource. So airline HTML code, click on add, and then the HTML code gets added into your model driven app. Now there are some piece of work you may need to do. Now here the component width is one column, that's fine. Component height is six row. Uh, I can select use all available vertical spaces over here, but what I'm gonna do is I, I don't want all this blank area over here. So let me reduce the component height. So now the component height is reduced and I can just happy with one row. So if there are more than two or three rows, you can also enable scrolling or disable scrolling or deem it as necessary when it is required. You can also display a border. So if I just select display border, so it will show some displaying uh, the border around the HTML content over here. Uh, I don't want that as of now, I'll just click on save and publish. Now, what is the benefit of utilizing HTML content within your model driven app is if you have some static content, which you want to persistently display on top of the uh, form, which gets opened while utilizing the model driven app, then that's an option you can use uh, to show some information like some static information. Now you can show that with the help of some notification area as well, but if you want to use within the context of a form, yes, you can go ahead and utilize that. Uh, by default, within the model driven app, you can add various controls like the text, label, um, drop down, uh, or uh, any other control like grids and views. But uh, there's, there was no static text which you can put directly. Now, with the help of HTML web resource, you can start adding those static text. Now, in my uh, other video, I have already shown you how to utilize the image web resource to show the images and you can play around with the images and show it in different format. Now, I'll just do a hard refresh and you can see that this text has now appeared. Now, this is utilizing one column. Now, you have an option to show that in, in another column as well. So, if you go into two column section over here, so I'll just go into two column section. In the two column section, I have an option to select either two column, three column or four column. So let me pick up say maybe four column at this point of time and I'll get four different columns. Now I can drag one item in one of the columns so it will pick up only the relevant width. I can go ahead and add an another HTML web resource. So let me add an another HTML web resource and maybe I'll just put up some HTML. So this is one of the HTML resource which I had previously. I can go ahead and so if you see over here, this is the four column component label position is left. I can have left top. So I've added second HTML uh, resource. I can go ahead and add an, another HTML web resource. So let me pick up sample HTML. And these are the three different HTML uh, resources I have picked. Now I have this columns as four columns, component label position is left. So I can pick up 
one column I can pick up an another HTML text. Now here also I can reduce the component width or component height and I can adjust as per my HTML content. Now you have this are this three items are coming from different different web resources and you can just play around with these kind of text. Now there are other things you can see that you can show display border. You can uh, work on the dependency if it is dependent on any other table column or you have an advanced option which will allow restricting the cross frame scripting where supported. If you have added some scripts within your HTML tags, then you can utilize this feature or maybe passing a record object uh, or passing the unique identifier as parameter. So there are uh, options uh, which you can utilize. So it is not just a simple static text, but it can also operate on some dynamic basis as well. Uh, but the whole objective of this exercise was to show you how to add an HTML content. So HTML web resource, we have added three different web resources and these web resources get displayed in the application. Now, the use case for this is like if you want to show some static image for a form or if you want to show or hide some image. So take, for example, you have two web resources within the form and you want to show depending on the data content. Yes. What you can do is you can add these two web resources within your model driven app and also make use of javascript to show or hide the section accordingly so example if i go into the airline so if if i see itihad as an airline then i want this text to be shown or if you have an another airline so if if the airline is say contest i want to show some different text yes you can go ahead and make that uh, dynamic by utilizing javascript and show or hide the section as per the content or the id of that particular record so that's it folks this is how you basically use html web resource within your model driven app thanks for watching